About one year ago, Microsoft announced that they would end support for Internet Explorer 11, beginning on or about June 15th of 2022. Customers are encouraged to move to Microsoft Edge using Internet Explorer mode, and that that would be supported through at least 2029. The good news is, is Vicon has proactively worked to support our Valera system using Microsoft Edge. Recently, around August the 17th of 2021, you might have received an e-blast from our marketing department, providing you with a link to download a special tool, the Valeris Microsoft Edge configuration tool that will allow you to easily migrate your system from Internet Explorer 11 over to Microsoft Edge. There's only one prerequisite, and that is you have to have Microsoft Edge installed on the system before you run this tool or wizard that we're going to provide you with. If you didn't get the e-blast, don't worry about it. You can reach out to sales at vicon-security.com and ask for a link to the download. Also, if you have our latest software installed, there's a direct link available there as well. And I'll be showing you all these different options. Assuming that you followed any one of these links, you would have downloaded this zip file called Valeris Edge 27th of July, which of course you'll need to unzip to get the extracted files. In the extracted folder, you're going to find two files, an Adobe PDF, which is a step-by-step -step written guide on how to use the configurator tool, and of course the configurator application as well. The step-by-step -step guide is very well written and you can use it to walk through the steps very easily. There are a few caveats that I've already pointed out to you that will be explained in here as well. This includes the statement from Microsoft about the end of support for IE 11, as well as a link for you to get some more information on Edge operating in IE mode. Starting in version 21.1, the wizard will be available for direct download through the Valeris software download section. Now I'm not going to go through each of these steps with you in writing because I'm going to show you how it's actually done, but I do want to show you one very important part and that is to remember that anytime you do make a change in the wizard, you're going to need to restart your PC for those changes to take effect. If you fail to do this, most likely Valeris will open up in standard mode and not in IE mode and video will not be supported and it's going to confuse you because it's going to tell you that you need to install the Valeris player and you'll install it and it still won't work and it will tell you you need the player again. So very important to remember to restart your PC after you make these changes using the wizard. Now let's go ahead back to our software file and we'll run the Valeris Edge configuration tool you're going to see a message that's going to ask you to allow this app to make changes to your device, to which you'll need to answer yes. Then the configuration tool will open up. There's a small introductory screen. We'll click on next. We have the license agreement, which you'll need to accept and or read through. And then click on install. And this will install the configuration tool, just like any other program on your computer. You'll be able to access this anytime you need to. And last but not least, there's a tick box next to Launch Valeris Edge Configurator, which we'll do and we'll go ahead and click Finish. In the Edge Configurator, it will identify your local URLs. Your loopback network and local host will already be there, but you're going to need to add the IP addresses of any other application servers that you might log into. So for instance, if I was going to log into 192.168.10.25, I would go ahead and type that in and then click add. And I get this message that says, changes made. You must restart the PC for changes to take effect. And I'll click on OK. But the program doesn't close yet because at this point, what we really want to do is replace this old Valeris VMS icon here that launches me into Internet Explorer with one that's going to launch me into IE mode. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the one for my loopback network because I'm working on an all-in-one laptop. And I'm going to go ahead and click this second icon here, which is going to create a desktop shortcut for me automatically. Now I've gone ahead and brought that icon, which came up on a different monitor, over to this monitor so that you can see it. And also notice there's another icon here for launching the Valeris Edge Configurator, should you need to do so in the future. It's very important also to remember that you'll need to run this on any client PC that's going to connect to an application server. Once I have that done, I can go ahead and close the configuration tool, but at this time I have to remember to do something and that is to restart my PC. Now I've restarted my machine, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Valeris from this new icon. And there's a couple different ways we can check to make sure that this is actually Microsoft Edge. First, if we go to the hamburger menu, we can see this is all about Edge down here. And the second thing that we're going to see is this small Internet Explorer icon. And this is telling us that we're using Microsoft Edge in Internet Explorer mode. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Here I am in the monitoring screen and I'm going to grab one of my simulator cameras and see if that camera displays properly. There we go. Just like that. That's how easy it is. You have the written instructions. You have this training video. These are the resources that are available to you. Remember, you can get the download from the eBlast email that we sent out. And when version 21.1 software is released, it'll be built into the software. It will be right here under admin, about, software installation page, and you'll be able to find that package right here, Valeris Edge Configuration Tool. Once 21.1 is released for general availability, we'll also be posting it on our webpage along with the Valeris software downloads. So many different ways that you can get it, but go ahead and get it and run it. This is not for version 21.1 only, it's for all versions of Valeris. This gets you away from Internet Explorer and over to Microsoft Edge. That's it. Hope you found this informative. Remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little alarm bell as well. And that way you'll be notified anytime a new video tutorial is available for you to watch.